The Hetton Railway is the first purpose-designed railway to be built with locomotive power and engine power in terms of inclined planes being worked by a big winding engine at the top of the hill in mind, and that all the other wagonways and railways at the time have been evolved from horse-drawn wagonways and sort of somehow adopted locomotive power on the way, if they have done by this point, many are still using horsepower. But the Hetton Railway, from its design through to completion, is done with locomotive and engine power in mind. Crucially, what George Stevenson realised is it's not just about building a locomotive, as many other places find out, including at Wylam, a steam locomotive on wooden rails or wooden rails with a bit of iron strip on them isn't enough to bear the weight. And he basically describes the joining of wheels and the rails as like man and wife. And he crucially understands it's not just the locomotive itself, it's everything that goes into it to make it all work as a system. There's so many fantastic stories out there to be told. There's a lot of human stories as well to do with the railways, which aren't as well told in traditional railway history. And people, people love these old railways. Um, they go on steam railways that still exist. They cycle and walk and run and take the dogs on old railways as well. And there's a lot of stories there and things like random houses by the side of the railway line and random blocks of stone or metal or that sort of thing. It's all got a fascinating story and I think people want to know that.